Greetings internet, welcome back to another vlog. Welcome to New Year's Eve, that is tonight. And you'll be seeing this next year in 2024, which is just bonkers. So clearly, as you guys can tell from the Pong table to my right, I'm throwing a New Year's Eve bash tonight. I think it's gonna be about 25, 30 of us in here tonight. And it's gonna be fun. I got so much stuff. And honestly, a lot of the decorations are not in frame right now. I'm gonna show you guys all the decor because Jack and I worked so hard on it. We were up so late last night decorating this place. But yeah, we're gonna go to dinner in a little bit. I'm famished. Need a good base before drinking. I'm gonna try to film a bunch of things when we get back from dinner, but I wanna show you guys my outfit. We're actually going to this place called Freeman's for dinner, which I went to four years ago. I went a bunch, like four years ago, and I somehow forgot that it existed. It's such a great restaurant, kind of nestled in an alley. I think Taylor Swift, I'm pointing because I have her on right now. Taylor Swift had her birthday after party in the upstairs. And I then remembered, I'm like, wait a minute, I've been there and they had reservations on New Year's Eve. So I'm like, why the heck not? So Jack and I are gonna go and then everyone's gonna come over after for the party. And this is the outfit I'm wearing. I, I'm doing a little rewind. Jack is in the shower if he was here. Splish splashing in the background, but my dress. So this is an outfit rewind. I wore this for my merch shoot when I shot my Martini Girl prints and tote bags and prints. And this was, I think, February. Yeah, I think it was actually this, this past February. I didn't realize that bows would have such a moment this year, so it's actually very convenient. But I have this gorgeous frock. It's from Anthropology. They might still sell it, who the heck knows. And it has little pockets. And then I'm wearing shoes, these little Reformation. I'm not even sure if you can see them, but they're these little teeny tiny kitten heel or mule, they're mule, pointed toe. And then for purse, I have my old reliable Bottega Mini little purse that I've had for a while. Bought this second hand like three years ago and it's been such a staple, like I love it. And then I'm gonna throw on a black coat. It's actually not too, too cold out this winter so far. It's only technically been winter for like 10 days, so that could definitely change. It probably will. I just totally jinxed us all, knock on wood. Um, but anyway, yeah, so the party's gonna be so fun. I'm gonna show you guys the decorations once Jack is dressed <laughs> because he did a lot of this, like probably more than half of this. Like I wasn't alone in my endeavor. He is a big decorator, like loves to decorate, I guess. I didn't know this about him. And you wouldn't know it if you met him, but he just, he loves to deck the halls. Anyway, speaking of, I still have my tree up. Just felt right to keep it up. And I think I'll keep it up probably for another week. I don't know when the appropriate time to take your tree down is. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think, but who knows? By the time this vlog is live, the tree might be down. So tonight's gonna be so fun. I'm so excited to ring in the new year with all of my favorite people in my apartment. Like, it's just so fun to have an apartment party. It's my first one in this apartment, and I'm thrilled. So it's going to be a night full of fun and merriment and cheersing 2023, goodbye 2024. Let's see how it goes. I don't know. I don't know what to expect. Show off the uh, the decor that you mastered. Um, well, okay, we'll start off by <laughs> coming from the front door. Okay, yeah, yeah. Like we're a guest. So, we come in. Um, coat rack. Jack built this coat rack here. Sturdy. We come in. Balloon arch. <laughs> or, not really an arch, more a balloon bar a line a balloon bar then we have some dangly stars which will make more sense as we get the upstairs downstairs view we come through we have some gold happening over here 
The story behind this was it actually broke. Yeah. So we tried to make it look intentional. From out over here. Oh, candles. Okay, turn the candles on. It's like, we're, it's like we're in Hogwarts. Floating candles. Pong at the go. Start up. Christmas tree. If you've got a problem with the Christmas tree still being up, then it's a you problem. Um, <laughs> Happy New Year, New Year sign. Well, my pride and joy, the disco ball. Yeah, what's your favorite part? The disco ball. The disco ball. This was, this was Jack's idea. I didn't support it at first, and then... Like, I fully did not support this idea. Then I saw it executed, and now I'm, I'm thinking, I'm toying with the idea of keeping it all year long. Fishing line, and we've got these like adhesive strips, but it's right at the top, so the tallest point of the apartment. Yeah, you can't really see it, but there's like a, a command hook up there. And it's we have- stayed safe for- 24 hours. <laughs> About 24 hours now. We did yeah. line the floor with pillows to test it. Just in case. And it's, it survived. Just a little, you know, second to front floor curtain. <laughs> I'm picturing this is going to be like a big light picture. Yeah, spot. photo spot. We're going to move these like chairs. Right, you know. Yeah, people will chill there. They'll post up there. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. Like the calm before the storm, truly. We have everything ready to go. Full bar, all set up. Just waiting ice. on some ice. Oh wait, actually speaking of, wait, take the camera. I feel like I need to get my phone. Uh... Oh. Oh, what do you guys? Some outtakes. What do you think? Bows are in. Bows are in. She looks fantastic as always. Thank you. But we have two bows. One for 2023 and one for 2024. True. Yeah. Two bows. And it has pockets. Flexible, ready for Pong, because we're obviously Pong partners and <laughs> neither one of us like neither one of us likes to lose. Although with, with that technique, we might be struggling. No, no, no. It's, it's like a... Elbows. Elbows. Elbows are too far out. Like that? No, we'll be fine. All right, I'm passing the camera back. <laughs> are, you, are you ready to party? Are you ready to uh, ring in the new year? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Born ready. Guys, I'm going to try to get as many clips of this party as I can. But we're also going to try to enjoy ourselves. So... <sighs> Premature. They're not great. Well, by the time you guys see this video, it will be 2024. Which is wild. Like, huh. how is it not like 2011? In my mind, it's still like 20, 2012, 2011. And here we are, 2024. Anyway. I think I read be... somewhere we're closer to 2040 than we are. Closer to 2040 than. 2000 and. Six. <laughs> you can edit that out if the if the math is wrong. If the math isn't mathing. It was just one of those things. And it's like yeah, yeah. 2040 sounded like a long time ago when we were like younger. It's like those things where it's like, do you feel old yet? Like this mm. this was X years ago. Do you feel old yet? Very exciting. It's Good always part. crazy. Like the pre, like right before the party starts, it's like this room is going to be filled with like 30, 35 people. Yeah. People are close, I'm tracking. They're trying. People are close, guys, so. It's gonna be a party.
Okay, so it's been a huge day in terms of getting myself ready for the new year, even though it is already the 2nd of January, 2024. I spent yesterday in body recovery mode because I had a lot of champagne the night before. So I just slept, chilled, watched a lot of TV. <laughs> and now, today, I'm feeling, I'm back on my feet. I worked out this morning. I cleaned everything, vacuumed, Swiffered, organized. Decorations are gone. Did a lot of stuff to clean up the apartment because I was attempting to work for a bit and I was like, oh my God, I cannot work while there's like stuff, like sticky stuff on my floor because let's just say people don't know how to keep their drinks in their cups at these parties, but it's okay, I forgive them, they're my friends. The only thing I kept up decor wise was the candles because I felt like that was such a, it was such a project getting them up there and they look so cute, so I'm gonna keep them up. And my tree's still up, I'm gonna take the tree down this weekend, I've decided it's been enough time for the tree. So I did all that, I've cleaned up around here and I also put some chicken in the crock pot, I'm doing a, garlic, lime garlic chicken in the crock pot, slow cooker, whatever you want to call it, for six hours on low. And then I'm gonna serve it for myself, me, myself, and I. Jack's not coming over tonight, just me. I do like having my solo nights still. I still treasure my alone time. So tonight, my alone time will consist of chicken and rice and maybe a movie. I don't know if I'll have time for that, but yeah, I have a lot to do work-wise for the first day, well, first work day of the year. And tomorrow is actually a huge day, guys. Huge, huge, huge day. I'm getting a new couch tomorrow, which I'm very excited about. I actually, I ordered it back in October. It's taken three months, three months for the couch to come, but it's finally coming tomorrow night and I'm very excited. And I'm a little sad though too, because I do love this current couch that I have, but I just wanted something a little bit bigger and a sectional because I've never had the space for a sectional until now. And yeah, so I'm getting a sectional <laughs> tomorrow, which I'm very excited about. My friend Bianca is taking my current couch, which I'm happy about. I'm happy it's gonna stay in the friend group because I just, I love this couch even though I will say my current couch, let me show you what I'm talking about because you guys might not remember what my couch looks like. So this is my current couch, it's from Article. They don't sell this model anymore or this exact shape and color. I'd say the only downside is even after three years of having this, I don't feel like it's very squishy, like it's not very, it's, it's definitely still comfortable, like don't get me wrong, it's comfortable, but it just like doesn't really give too much. And I wanted something with like a little bit more give, like something more cloud-like. In this vlog, you guys will see the new couch, but this is the before of what the room looks like. Still have my Christmas decor up, as you can see. I'm milking it. I can't believe Christmas is over already. New Year's is over. Like what do we have to live for now? Just kidding, totally kidding. As you can see, the floating candles remain. But yeah, it's good to have my space all cleaned up. I do need to find a spot for all my blankets. I feel like they just sit in a heap on my chair. So I need to find a way to organize those. But other than that, yeah, it's feeling good in here. It's feeling clean and organized, which is always good to start off the year feeling like that. I must say, I think Danielle actually made a TikTok about this, but I feel like this year, 2024, I have a very good feeling about this year, okay? I do. <laughs> I'm not a huge believer in New Year's resolutions or like things that I wanna change like at the top of the year. I feel like that's, it just adds a lot of pressure to the year starting and like, it just feels a little bit stressful. But if I had to say one, like if I had to declare a New Year's resolution, I wanna cook more, which I've already been doing very well, I feel like. I've been challenging myself with the crock pot and with like other things, so I wanna keep keep doing that and order out less. I feel like I order so much via Postmates and Uber Eats and I just, I wanna cut back on that. So yeah, I wanna eat in a lot more, like cook a lot more and then like also go to like local, like restaurants that have been in 
like the West Village, for example, where I live now for years. Like I've been starting to go to this Indian place that's been in the village for 27 years. So I wanna either support people like that or cook at home but mostly cook at home, if that makes sense. That's like my New Year's resolution of sorts. But other than that, I'm just gonna keep on keeping on and do what I've been doing, I guess, because yeah, it feels right, it feels right. Anywho, I will be welcoming some changes this year though with my business. I have some ideas, some new things coming. I don't wanna spoil because if I even begin to talk about them, it's just gonna, I'm just gonna, accidentally tell you everything so yeah but there's some new things coming this year that i'm excited to build and i just have i have so much hope for 2024 i think the next clip in this vlog will be the couch delivery because it's tomorrow afternoon i don't really have much else to say today maybe i'll show a clip of my chicken when it's done anyway yeah i think the handles like have to stay because look how iconic they look they look great very witchy very witchy of me okay talk soon Okay, couch reveal. This is the couch from Sundays. And as you might notice, it's much larger than my old couch. Maybe not much larger, but it's definitely larger. Like it takes up more space. So now begins the task of reorganizing the stuff around it because right now it looks very cluttered. So I think, hear me out, I think this is gonna be my plan. I'm gonna talk about the actual couch in a minute, but this is top of mind. I think my plan is moving this shelf here, which takes up a lot of space. And I mean, to be fair, it's pretty cluttered. Like I could get rid of a lot of stuff that's on it, but I think the plan is to move this shelf over here to this wall. Let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna give you guys like a full view. I could also put the shelf over here. I'm pretty devoted to the idea of moving it from this spot but I just don't know where to put it, if that makes sense. So anyway, but yeah, okay, couch. I am so happy with the couch. It's pretty much a cloud couch dupe, I'd say, like where it's very similar concept. It's an off-white color, so not totally white, and it's performance fabric, so apparently it won't stain as easily, and I'm just so happy with it. This ottoman piece actually comes off, so I can move it, to whichever side I want, or if I want to get it out of the way for a party, I can, which is amazing. And everything is a slip cover, so I can easily wash every piece of it or dry clean it, I guess. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with the couch. It's from Sundays, Sundays Furniture, and I'm thrilled. I can't wait to make some content with it. And I think the rug and table still go still match enough so i'm going to keep those as is but just move a bunch of stuff around so it's a better fit if that makes sense i love it love 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 my new couch and that is it for this week in my life vlog hope you guys enjoyed and i will talk to you all next monday i'll be back on track with my uploads i promise and i'll talk to you guys then bye